I think he might have misunderstood some of the facts. And this is borne out in on five and six of the judgment handing, handed down. In five, the, he's, he's saying that we defaulted on the payment of the loan and implying that because we were defaulting on the loan is why we sought to sell Kahal Pech. That is not the case. When we decided to sell Kahal Pech to the late Richard Hoar, Kahal Pech was a growing concern. That happened in April. So what I notice here in this judgment handed down, and in five and six, that a letter from ourselves, giving back the keys and saying that we no longer could pay the loan, written in November, is used like to say we could not pay the loan and therefore sought to sell to Richard Hoare when the letter of November 20, November 2004 clearly comes after the agreement of April 2004 because mm -hmm. April comes before November, right? So to put November and the incidents of November before the agreement made in April of the same year, obviously, to, 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 to represent a case, obviously, is, cannot be seen in good light or in good faith by ourselves. So you believe the judge erred in judgment? That's what I believe, right? That um, as far as I'm concerned, right, we had the executive chairman of the DFC at the time, Mr. Burgos. We had the executive chairman, the chairman that we dealt with, the, the, the executive director mm -hmm. of the DFC, Mr. Troy Gab at the time, the people we dealt with over the, over the period of time, saying that what we are saying is right. That basically, Kahal, we, we, we were wronged by the actions of Mr. Hoare, mm -hmm. right? and that the place would be sold and that the additional sums, if there are any, will be paid from the proceeds of a court case against Mr. Hoare. Now, the, I, and this was borne out by both gentlemen, that if monies were collected, then we win. If monies are not collected, then the DFC and ourselves suffer a loss. Because not only the DFC losing in this, you know, I am losing too. We are losing a substantial amount of money as well because we have invested a lot of time, a lot of energy, and a lot of undeclared funds in building Kahal Pech, right? So we have taken a loss, a tremendous loss as well, mm -hmm. right? So the DFC, because they recognize that the, the mistake was theirs in the first instance, you know, um, to have given Mr. Hoare possession of DFC, of, of the Kahal Pech mm -hmm. for six months. Mm -hmm. And then when he decides, oh, I don't want it no more, just say, oh, he don't want it no more, it's for you. You know, to that sort of action, that that was, was wrong. So both of us sat down to find a solution, and that's the solution we came up with. That basically the place would be sold, and that the, pro the, the balance, if any, would be would be claimed against the proceeds of the court case. Now, have, having said all of that, then, are you at the point where you are going to appeal the judge's ruling? Well, we, we, we have to appeal. I think we should appeal because, one, based on this error that I showed you, um, and I'm sure if this is one error, mm -hmm. that there may be others. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I haven't had the time to read the entire judgment. Right? But this is one glaring error.